Ladies and gentlemen, our first bout of the evening is sanctioned by the World Shindo Kumite Association under Shindo Kumite Amateur Rules and Regulations. This bout is scheduled for three rounds in the middleweight division. Your judges scoring this bout at ringside are Tim Burns, James Swords, and Randy Burns. The chief judge is Adam Sager. The timekeeper is Jeff McCollum. And the referee in charge of the action, Jean-Louis Miranda. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks, standing six feet tall, 188 pounds. His fighting style is Muay Thai. He comes from Jacksonville, Florida. Let's welcome James Mason. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the red trim. Six feet tall, 191 pounds. His fighting style is Muay Thai from Newport, Ritchie, Florida. Let's welcome Lars, the Hurricane Lipsonov. Okay, Lars Lentinoff and James Mason, our first amateur middleweight bout. This is a rematch. Uh, Shindo Kumite 3, James Mason beat Lars Lentinoff. It was a very aggressive fight. They were both holding their own. Uh, in the third round, Mason delivered a punch that broke Lentinoff's eardrum, winning the fight. Uh, James Mason's also beat Troy Couture in a close decision in Shindo Kumite 4. Uh, Lars Hurricane Lentinoff from uh, fights out of uh, St. Petersburg, the World Shindo Kumite class, and uh, James Mason from Tom Burke's Muay Thai in Jacksonville. These uh, two fighters look conditioned, ready to go. It looks like they're all warmed up, just starting for the belt. It's like we have some kind of a conversation going on with the judges right now. Lars looks very relaxed, and uh, James is bouncing around, getting his energy up. You'll notice that both of these fighters are wearing shin pads in the amateur bouts. They're allowed to do that. During the professional bouts, there are no shin pads or headgear allowed. Looks like we may have a problem. Cordemar is talking to the head ref right now, finding out why is the delay. It appears they may need to wear headgear. In the past Chindo Kumite bouts, that's not been a requirement. Um, the amateurs are allowed to wear headgear. So we'll see what happens. It's going to be three round of two minutes. Both these fighters have been training extensively for the last uh, three months getting ready for this. Um, they're both wearing black trunks. Lars Lentinoff, the Hurricane Lentinoff. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin momentarily, we are awaiting the arrival of some headgear for the fighters. It is a Florida State amateur rule that headgear be worn in the amateur fighting competition. Here we go, guys. The fight just about to start. Here we go with a nice roundhouse kick from the red corner. Looks like Lars Lentinoff is covering up, letting James Mason get a little bit tired, perhaps. That was a great start. They're both going at it. Whoa, excellent jab. This is uh, quite a contrast to the last fight. In the last fight, Lars came out swinging, and uh, James Mason kind of covered up and felt him out. So. 
different strategies this time around. Good hook punch from a blue corner. Lots of clinching. <coughs> These fighters are allowed to clinch for up to three seconds. After that, the referee is going to step in and break it off. You see a lot of kicks, shin Great kicks. Great roundhouse kick to the leg from Lars in a blue corner. Too many of those and your fighter's not going to be able to stand for very long. It's one of the better. Excellent yeah. overhand right by Lars. That hurt him. That was excellent. Good knee to the chest. You're not allowed to deliver knees below the waist. And in the amateur bouts, there are no knees to the face. Another excellent right overhand by Lars. Exchanging very nicely, <laughs> filling each other out. Another good knee to the stomach by Lars the Hurricane Leto. Whoa, excellent right hook. You can see Mason is holding back a little bit after that. I think it took his breath away. Another good right shin kick. Here we go, exciting fight so far. Right knee, left knee. Kind of a low blow there to Lentinoff. Right. Good first round. Lots of action. These guys are in there ready to fight. I think Lars had a couple of really nice right hook hand, right hook, hooks that uh, really got in. Yeah, that was a very good fight. Um, I say it was different from the last fight where uh, Lars was the aggressor. James kind of sat back. Our lovely host model. We got a replay here. Here we go. There's Excellent right hook punch that really got in from Lars. And you see that uh, James was moving back. He really felt that. Here yeah, we go, a couple other kicks. See a good right knee and then a left knee by Lars Lentinoff. Kind of holds James Mason down. That is allowed in this. Can so hold them and clinch them, and that helps you to deliver that knee. What do you think, Bill? The, the first round. It looks like Lars had the over, um, upper hand on the first round. Yeah, I would give that round to Lars. Seconds out, seconds out. Coming up, round number two. Round number two. Neither of these fighters are breaking a sweat at this point. Excellent exchange. It looks like they've warmed up now. James Mason is uh, coming on strong this round. Great round house kick was partially blocked. Ooh, nice kick to the Excellent face. round house kick. Good combination from Lars. Looks like they're taking more chances now in the second round. They're more comfortable. Good right hand. Another knee. Lars Lentinoff using that knee to his best advantage. That'll really wear a fighter out, taking those knees to the chest. Oh, another excellent right from Lars. Moving James back. Lars takes a right to the face. Covers up. Couple of nice hook punches from James. But Lars comes back with his right. And back in the middle. Good couple of punches. Getting a few flurries from James Mason. Lars gives a nice uppercut to return it. James is covering up, but Lars is getting through. Good Ron Hall's kick from James Mason. You hear that kick slap. That usually is when they hit with the toes. You see Mason, when he does his kicks, oh, he's hitting with his toes. Hook punch, Bill. Not as effective as when you hit with a shin. Good. Oh. Hold on, we got a little problem with Excellent uh, right hook. James Mason's head Looks gear. Looks like he shook him there. Here comes James. Answered with a knee. 
And, and Lars Lentzenoff ends that round with a good straight left to James Mason's face. James had a couple of really nice hook punches to the to Lars mid, mid, mid section. You can see the marks on his stomach. I think that really got him. Yeah, James decided to come back strong in that round and he did a fine job. Um, I think that round would probably be even. What do you think? And here we have another one of our host models. Okay, we have on a slow motion, nice right hook, follow with the, with the knee to the stomach. Lars was doing great in that round. But I agree with you, Bill. The second round looks like James had upper hand. Seconds out, seconds out. But we'll see. There it we looks go. like uh, both of the fires, fighters are a bit tired. Looks like it was pretty even. These later rounds are when a fighter can prove his mettle, whether or not he can stay with it, not get exhausted. Whoa, nice right hook. Here we go. They're all going at it. I don't think they want to lose. Both Lars fighters giving their all. Oh, great. That was a slip. Looks like Lars' nose is bleeding slightly. Lars stepping in with the straight front kicks. You know, when he delivers a lot of those knees, it can tire you out. So you have to balance that. Absolutely. Notice that Lars brings his leg up to block the round kicks. Very effective technique. Lars, Lars really should push forward a little bit more. He wants this round. Oh, a couple of really nice body shots. Both fighters looking James. a little tired. I think James is being the aggressor here. here. It's been a great fight so far. Good knee from Mason. Nice right. Looks like they're really tired. He's going to end up seeing who wants it more. Looks like James Mason is delivering a lot of body shots. To Absolutely, Lars you can see it. And Those here we go, a couple of head shots. Good, good right knee he to James almost, Mason. Almost got in. This may make a difference. Here we go. James Mason trying to cover for those knees. Some of those shots are getting blocked by Mason. Here we go. Lars' nose is building a little bit heavy now. When you hold your fighter down like that, it tends to wear him out. Gives you a chance to rest. A few seconds. Good go. left by Mason. James is going all out. Good right hand. And end up oh. the bout. Great, great match. Both of these Excellent fighters fight. delivering punishment to each other. I would say that uh, last round was pretty close. That's going to be a close fight. If I had to make the decision, I would probably give it to Lars Lentinoff. What would you think? Now we're going to see this as we go. Really nice body blow. Going left and right, really getting in through with Lars. I think that was very effective from James in the last round. And there's that right uppercut, but then it's returned, answered by several face shots and then a knee. What a great fight. These guys That was, that was all the all. way to the end. Well, James didn't want to lose this one because he won the last one. This was a rematch. It'll be interesting to see how the scorecards play out. You could really see the body blows on um, Lars's Midsection, Bill. Yeah, Lars. There were some hard punches getting through. Absolutely. Lars got a little bit of blood on his face, but nothing much. They both should be proud of themselves. They give it all. This is going to be a close one. Be waiting for the refs to make their decision. Either way, they should be really proud of themselves. Excellent fight. Lars Letanov from Board Shindo Comité, right here from St. Petersburg, Florida. And James Mason from Jackson, Jacksonville, Florida. Tom Burke's Muay Thai School. We've got a lot of fighters that come here from Jacksonville, from Tom Burke School. Great fighters, good school. And we wait while they count up the points. 
this this is what Shindo Komite is all about. They fight hard, but they friends. They go hug each other, shake hands. That was an excellent fight. Without exception, you'll find that the fighters in the World Shindo Kumite bouts are all gentlemen. And uh, I think, Bill, that, that's the difference between Shindo Kumite and some other no, no hold bar fights that you see. These guys are martial artists first. Absolutely. Shindo Kumite is the quest for the greatest martial arts warrior. These gentlemen are martial arts warriors. They believe in honor and respect. And they believe each other, both good fighters and gentlemen. Here's our announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, before the decision, have a nice round of applause for both fighters, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. Judge one scores about 35-34 in favor of Mason. Judge two scores about 36-33 in favor of Letinoff. Judge three cast the deciding vote, scoring about 34-32 in favor of your winner, Lars Lentinov. Here we go. The fight goes to Lars Lentinov from St. Pete, Florida. That was an excellent fight. Ended up being on a split decision. Very close fight. And uh, now it's 1-1. I think uh, Shindo Kumite 6. We're probably going to see these two come back. I would look forward to see that. that that's going to be an excellent fight. That's going to be a good one. Thank you.